What is the difference between an Outlook shared mailbox and a distribution list? Have you ever wondered how to manage your emails more effectively in Outlook? Today, we are going to break down the differences between a shared mailbox and a distribution list. Understanding these two tools can really help streamline your email management. First, let's talk about the distribution list. A distribution list is a simple way to send emails to multiple people at once. Think of it as a group of email addresses bundled together under one name. When you send an email to this group, it automatically goes to everyone on the list. This is perfect for sending out company announcements or newsletters where you don't need any replies. However, keep in mind that recipients do not have access to each other's responses. Now, let's move on to the shared mailbox. A shared mailbox is a centralized email inbox that multiple users can access at the same time. This means that team members can read, respond to, and manage emails from one location. It's especially useful for teams that handle customer service or sales inquiries. Everyone can see the same emails and work together to respond, which makes collaboration much easier. So what are the key differences? First, user experience and accessibility. With a distribution list, you send an email to one address and it forwards to everyone. But with a shared mailbox, all users can directly access the mailbox and see the emails. Next, let's consider the purpose and usage scenarios. A distribution list is best for mass communication where no collaboration is needed. On the other hand, a shared mailbox is ideal for teams that need to work together on emails. When it comes to management, distribution lists are managed by adding or removing recipients. In contrast, shared mailboxes requiring setting permissions for users to access and manage emails. Storage is another difference. Emails sent to a distribution list are stored in each recipient's individual inbox. However, emails in a shared mailbox are stored centrally, so everyone sees the same information. Security is also an important factor. Distribution lists have limited security features, focusing mainly on managing the list of recipients. Shared mailboxes offer more control with specific user permissions, ensuring that only authorized team members can access the mailbox. In practical terms, if you are looking to send out a company newsletter, a distribution list is the way to go. But if your team needs to collaborate on customer inquiries, a shared mailbox is the better choice. Using a shared mailbox can also help with organizing email folders and labels. By keeping all relevant emails in one place, it simplifies email delegation and management. This way, your team can efficiently respond to emails without missing a beat. So, whether you choose a distribution list for mass communication or a shared mailbox for collaboration, Understanding these differences can significantly improve your email management strategy and outlook.